Hey guys, surprise! This is not the video you're expecting because I have a little thing to put before the actual interview. Mostly that this video is being sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is a website where you can create your own website. It is an all-in-one tool to build your online presence beautifully and to run a business if you have a business or just like create your own online presence. So now that we have that out of the way, we're gonna jump into the video. Enjoy! Hello everyone! How are you doing? I hope that you were doing so very well. I'm I'm here with Morgan Madsen. Hi. I have a mic. I know it feels really official, but there's a lot of noise happening in the convention center. So we're just going to do the mic thing and it'll be great. Two, two years ago. <laughs> two years ago, we made a video. So this is like our sequel Eminem video. Save the date is already out. June 5th, two days before my birthday. It's a great birthday present. Yay. Turning 27. I feel like the old side of booktube. It's great. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about save the date? Just do your save the date pitch. Sure. I actually ha don't have this like down yet. So this is going to be like rough for the internet. Um, so Save the Date is about, it takes place over three days, the three sort of most chaotic days in the life of Charlie Grant, who's 17, she's preparing to go to college in the fall, and her older sister is getting married in the house. And her parents are selling the house, they're moving away, so all Charlie wants is the perfect weekend. Unfortunately, this weekend is shaping up to be an absolute disaster. There's an uninvited dog, there's a paper girl with a grudge, the weather's not cooperating, they can't find the officiant, a Tux is missing, unexpected relatives, family feuds, and Charlie's longtime crush suddenly showing up back in her life again. So it's this three-day chaotic, fun family romance book. I've already read it and I loved it, so I am probably going to reread it and possibly do a review. I'm trying to think of what kind of video I'm going to do for it, but we're actually, I'm part of a book club, and I think we're reading Save the Day in July, actually, yeah, for so our fun. book of the month. We're partnering with Squarespace, and they were like, you can just pick a book. It does my website, so there we go. Squarespace is actually really awesome. No, truly. Like, I'm very grateful for them because it made my website super easy. Thanks, Squarespace. Keep an eye out for that. Either way, I'll be talking about it. Let's get into questions. I'm looking at my phone. It's because I'm looking at questions. Okay. Of, like, your main characters of your books, okay. what Disney family do you think that they would fit best into? Was she by the dozen Disney? I don't think it was. Let's say it's Disney. It could just, they don't have quite that many kids. It also feels a little bit like Swiss Family Robinson because I also feel like that was sort of just like tons of kids and like yeah. crammed in a house. You know what it might be is the darlings like Wendy, oh, yeah. uh, John, and Michael. Like I feel like that sort of like sibling vibe between them I always really liked and like yes. Nana trying to like corral them and like the big house and so maybe it's maybe it's like the darling family from Peter Pan. I feel like that's yeah. accurate yeah. and they all had like crazy adventures and stuff yeah. too so yeah and and both parents are around which is like it's hard when you're trying to do a disney family it's like well they're like very smaller families there's yeah, not a lot of big families in the disney verse i think maybe ariel has the biggest family because oh, there's true. like that's all true the sisters, yeah. but yeah. that i don't feel like that no. vibe is no, no, the no, no. same that's though. not that's not the vibe this is unrelated to any book thing but what are your top three songs from reputation <laughs> oh my god okay this is a hard this is a hard question and it's changed a lot like i feel like the first time i listened to it it was one way the next time it was another way yeah. and having just seen her live and a song yes. i didn't expect has sort of risen to the top so right now i would say Dread getaway car and New Year's Day but don't blame me live was so good that it sort of elevated that song a little bit. I'm seeing her in September. Jesse and I are both seeing her. Wait, so I'm where? Um, Kansas City. Oh, I'm seeing her in New Orleans in September. I'm seeing oh her three gosh. times this summer. What are your favorites? Oh gosh. <laughs> um, I like getaway car. Dancing with our hands tied. I love dancing with our yeah, hands tied. And then I think I like delicate. Delicate was like that's the one that like has gotten swapped out recently with dress. Like the they, they kept like changing their ranking on me. I I still love delicate. I think maybe I over listened to it and it yeah. became like overly familiar or something, but New Year's Day just gets me every time. Like I think New Year's so Day beautiful. is so emotional. It's so beautiful. And it's just like it feels a little bit like like reputation is like a real departure for her and we're veering into another direction and New Year's Day is coming back home again. Like it yeah. feels more like old Taylor and it feels more yeah. like she's saying like I went on this journey and now I'm back. I also didn't say reputation by Taylor Swift because I'm just assuming that you yeah, know yeah. exactly what I'm talking Come about. On. What if someone's like reputation <laughs> by whom? Taylor Swift. That's who it is. <laughs> Now, this is another Taylor Swift question. Um, so what Taylor Swift album do you feel like represents each of your books? Oh my gosh, this is such a fun question. We did songs last time. I looked and yes. I was like, this time it's albums. Oh my gosh, we're just like leveling up. I feel like Amy and Roger might be Taylor Swift, actually. And I don't know if that's just because it was my first book and it's her first album and it has yeah. that kind of vibe to it. But I also feel like Tim McGraw, that feels like her and Roger, especially Roger with like 
the ex-girlfriend that he's not gonna see any like the sort of like we've broken up like that sort of like sadness to it I also feel like a lot of Taylor Swift is about people sitting in cars together yeah. like our <laughs> song and even in Tim McGraw yeah. like I feel like there's a lot of like we're riding around together yeah. and Amy and Rogers all about the car second chance summer it's like what's the saddest what's the saddest of the Taylor Swift albums I feel like it's the bonus material on red the acoustic version of state of grace is like the saddest song she's ever written it's like taking like a very happy song with like a slow piano and making it just like the most depressing thing ever so that would be that since you've been gone i feel like might be red yeah. 22's on that album and i feel like that yeah. feels like very much like that book to me there's just a lot of friendship on that album which i think works really well unexpected everything maybe fearless because i do feel like that's a good fit for that because i feel like a lot of unexpected everything is about like letting go of stuff like taking chances like doing stuff dancing yeah. in the rain in your best dress like doing yeah. stuff that you never thought you could do before i also feel like that has the most sort of parent songs on it like yeah. with best day and like so I do feel best like day, so oh god I know so I feel like there's maybe that's the closest one for that maybe save the date is 1989 yeah. yeah, I feel like that yeah. fits. Yeah, I think so too. this book is a little bit different in that there's like a big family rather mm -hmm. than a smaller family. So yeah. like, what was your inspiration kind of for that? Or like, why did you feel like writing a big family this time? There's kind of a big family in Unexpected Everything yes, because Palmer, her friend, is the youngest of five. And I kept writing about Palmer's siblings, who we never meet. I was like, like Megan and Fitz and Ivy and Josh. And my editor was like, stop talking about these people. We never meet them. They're not characters in the book. But I knew so much about like Palmer and her older siblings. I had so much sort of material I was thinking about. And he was like, these people never show up in this book. This book is long enough already. There's already a million characters. Stop it with these off-screen characters who we're never going to see. But so I think that like planted the thing in my head of like a big family and like the protagonist being the youngest sister of five of a big family. I only have a brother, so I have a smaller family, and I've always been, like, jealous of people with big families. It always seemed like so much fun. There was always, like, something going on. There was always someone to, like, fight with or hang out with or, like... I don't know. I mean, it's probably because I come from a smaller family that it seemed like perfect and wonderful. So I was always sort of like wanting to do that, but I never knew sort of how to do it. And then yeah. when I sort of came up with the idea of like a wedding and people coming back, I was like, oh, this is how I do my big family book. My family's like three girls, which is That's the middle fun, of the road, though. but it's oh fun. God. Yes. What kind of sidekick Disney pet would all of like the main characters of your books have? I'm sure Andy would probably have a dog, but I'm like, who <laughs> else would? would? Andy would definitely have a dog. I feel like Emily might have a cat because she keeps trying to get her cat to like her and the cat keeps being yeah. like go away i don't like you i could see taylor having sort of like a rapunzel-esque like um pascal like on her yes. shoulder like someone who's just like there with her and like riding along like and i could i could see that like being the thing that she has i feel like amy maybe like a hedgehog because i feel like she's very like prickly yeah. in the beginning and will like curl up into little balls but then she like you know would like to be like rubbed you know like how hedgehogs are like yeah um, that was my hedgehog impression. For Charlie, I feel like maybe a dog as well. Like, I hate yeah, to double up Maybe on the she dog, just loves like, the beagle so much. Loves the beagle. That was, like, my favorite part <laughs> of that photo shoot was that there's this, like, beagle there. And, yes. like, yeah. So I think that's that's their sidekicks. So we both saw Mean Girls the other night, and we didn't know we were at the show until we so saw fun. each other. So, fun. so what, like table do you think that Charlie and JJ would sit at in oh the God. North Shore lunchroom? <laughs> I, I thought a lot about like the, the her older siblings are all like done with high school but like yeah. I thought I, I had to do a lot of like what were they like in high school what was it like when she was like five and her brother was a senior and like all this stuff so I think like Danny her brother Danny was like the prom king I feel like yeah. he was like class president prom yeah. king popular guy like everyone's best friend I feel like JJ was the kind of guy who f would float between all the tables like yeah. I could see him like having friends at like every single table and like that everyone's yeah. like JJ like when he walks by like I feel like that's who he is Charlie and Siobhan her best friend form their own little unit and they're like liked by everyone but they're not like putting themselves out there they're kind of like a Janice and Damien yeah, they're, like, yeah. they're the art freaks but they're not really they have yeah. their own they're sort of they don't yeah. have that much kind of like they like hang out with the art freaks just to be like we're with them but like yeah. they're not like putting themselves out there in that way and I feel like her sister I kind of feel like Linny was like a popular girl I feel like yeah. not a, maybe not a plastic but like I don't know I feel like sh the older siblings were kind of like super popular and like Charlie was always sort of like looking at them when they were teenagers and she was like in elementary school and they was like the coolest the yeah. coolest kids ever kind of thing and I feel like Mike worked like in in, like the yearbook like was very quiet and like kind of kept to himself and like yeah. was definitely like with like nerdier kind of people yeah yeah not exactly the mathletes but like no, not the mathletes but maybe I could see Mike actually like yeah. being on the mathletes yeah yeah academic okay. decathlon or something oh yeah. yeah so it's kind of like mathletes but not but like not, mathletes but not. Yeah. what is a fun fact about each like save the day character that's like not in the book but is something Ooh, that like you this. have the character Siobhan who we never actually see we just like talked to her on the phone and she's like Charlie's best friend I named after my friend Siobhan Vivian because Siobhan Vivian put a character in her last book named Morgan and I was just like 
wait a second, I'll get you back. I'll make you the best friend in my book. And she was like, thank you. And I was like, oh, right. This wasn't like a great revenge. There used to be more with Charlie, like at the yearbook doing a thing or the newspaper. Cause she's like yeah. a reporter. And there used to be a lot more with that. And like the book's long enough. We just like ended up like cutting most of it. Yeah. But I really liked that side of her. Like I'm like fascinated by like journalism. And so I liked like getting in that a little bit. And that sort of, that was the way she saw the world. JJ used to have a lot more backstory. There used to be like a lot more on him and like his like journey and how he got to MIT and all this stuff. But he's the quantitative analyst for the Pittsburgh Pirates. And I chose the Pirates because they employ that person where like, it's like Moneyball essentially. So like literally the Pirates person travels with them on the bus and is like crunching the numbers to like find out who yeah. should play what. And so I was like, that's such a cool thing that they have this person like travel with a team. So that's why it's the Pirates. There's also so many characters. This could go on for like 20 yes. minutes. It's like a really big cast. It's like a Russian novel in the beginning where it like lists all the characters and like yes. who they are and what their ages are. Cause otherwise you can't keep track. I love it. <laughs> of the main characters of all your books what do you think that their favorite and like new generation Disney movies would be hmm I should have known to prep for my Disney questions with you. Um, are we including Pixar or just Disney? Pixar is part of Disney now. Yeah, it totally is. I'm trying to think what Charlie's would be. Maybe Rapunzel, because like Rapunzel also yeah. draws and like her mom's an artist. And so I could see that yeah. like being like something she connected to. I feel like uh, Taylor's would be Frozen because that's like a devastating opening and it's so yeah. sad. And I just feel like she would like tie into that. <laughs> I still think Amy Rogers is Bolt. I like, although yes. that's like older, yes. but it's like the road trip. It's the only like Disney like road. Although Frozen's yes. kind of a road trip, frankly. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Emily's would be Frozen, I think, because that's like about trying to find someone and like yeah. bring the person back and like you're in search of them and then Andy now I'm like what are the most recent Disney movies I was thinking of Pixar there's like the one with joy and emotions Ooh. inside out that one I could see I could see that being Andy's like yeah. in terms of like the range of emotions and like, getting more in touch with your emotions and like I think that's hers yeah yeah I have too many books now there's like five of them now it's like oh god I have all these characters to talk about it's easier two years ago so last question what kind of movies or tv shows remind you of each of your books so for people who like like those things yeah. and they would read your books okay for Amy and Roger what is that like I don't even know like what a good is it like tv shows or movies it's both what has a road trip we could just no, call it seriously. bolt again yeah, exactly. about bolt. Um, there's actually like a, a Cameron Crowe movie that I actually love although people hate it called Elizabeth Town that like oh, I've heard that, that yeah. feels very like Amy and Roger to me because there's like the whole last 20 minutes of it is this like big road trip but it's these sort of like people meeting unexpectedly on this like journey together so like that's kind of like a deep cut but that's probably what I'd say yeah. for that I feel like for Second Chance Summer it's like what this is us like the saddest yeah. show you can think the of the absolute like, saddest thing the thing that's gonna make you ball your eyes yeah. out that's sec that Second Chance Summer <laughs> yes. is this is us yeah for since you've been gone I want to say 13 reasons why but not but just because there's like a 13 there's also like a 13 list yeah for Emily but they're not actually very similar I feel like there's movie with a list and I can't think or like of somebody completing a list and I, I can't think of what it is um, so maybe we can say 13 reasons why just in terms of the structure and then I think there's something with like a good friend group in it maybe like sisterhood of the traveling yes. pants sister to the traveling pants that's such a good one <laughs> and that's what I was thinking of a lot when I wrote that because I wanted another four girl moment for save the date I thought a lot about the movie the family stone have you ever seen that I haven't <gasps> oh my god I, know, I, need to see it. I literally watch it every Christmas it's five kids it's like Sarah Jessica Parker is like Ronnie's new girlfriend who comes into the house and it's like Diane Keaton and Craig T. Nelson oh, are the parents yeah. and like Rachel McAdams is in it and Claire Danes and like Luke Wilson and like it's got such a good cast and it's yeah. just like this big fun family with like more seriousness to it too so that's totally that's totally the movie for Save the Day or maybe like Father of the Bride a little yeah, bit like, or 16 Candles just yeah. the like the sister wedding stuff so yeah yeah and future Marine is back to tell you a little bit more about Squarespace who is sponsoring this video as you heard me and Morgan talking about this a little bit earlier she uses Squarespace to build her website so like if you want an example you can go to Morgan's website I'll link it down below but I seriously know so many people that use Squarespace to build their website I know it's a great product they have great customer service if you have never made a website before but you've been wanting to make a website I know it's super easy and if you make fandom stuff or something like that you can make your own online store separate from Etsy or somewhere else you can actually try Squarespace before you buy it and use your free trial test it out see how you like it when you're ready to launch you can go to squarespace.com slash Maureen for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain I love Squarespace I love their product I'm really excited that they are sponsoring this month's fiction faction book of the month and it means that we can all read save the day together and it makes my heart so happy and that's it back to me and Morgan for the closer that was an interview with Morgan Max 
Thank you so much. It was so much fun. I Thank always you. love talking to you. Yes. I feel like I relate to you so much on so many oh like God. Disney we levels. Have, like a talk show where we just, we just like, do this. Just talk about Disney books and, and Taylor Swift. And, Taylor Swift. Yeah. and that's what everybody We could wants. call it Disney books and Taylor Swift. That's it. That's all the, that you need in life. The na- what it is is in the title. <laughs> yes, exactly. Save the Date is out now. You need to go buy it. I'll put links down below so you can buy it and read it. Oh, and then if you. you haven't read any of Morgan's other books, they're all amazing and you need to read them. Thank so. you so much. Do you have any of those things you want to say? Any last words? Um, all the first editions of the book are signed. So if you get an early copy, you'll probably get my signature on it. Yes, so that Yay. means buy it soon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.